guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here it's flanny tv and on this channel we talk about lifestyle we do cooking videos we do natural videos we do a little bit of everything so just go ahead and subscribe to this channel because definitely there will be something for you so without so much wasting of time today's video we'll be talking about the old wife's tales on baby's gender prediction okay as you all know i'm 28 weeks pregnant <laughs> Yeah, I'm 28 weeks pregnant and anyway, let me show you my tummy. Hi baby bomb. <laughs> I know you say it's not that big, but it's okay. <laughs> so guys, that is my baby bomb and as of now I'm 28 weeks pregnant as I said and I don't know the gender of my baby. I don't know. First of all, you need to know that in China they don't tell you this gender of your baby they don't until birth and myself i don't even intend to i don't even want to know let it just be till birth okay so there is no issue with that <laughs> so in china they don't tell you the gender of the ba of your baby i've explained it in one of my videos i don't know if i'm going to upload the video first before this one if i do it if i upload the video first before this one then just check in the description box you will see the link of the video just go ahead and watch the video so that you can understand everything about gen uh, um, gender in china okay so but if not then definitely after this video i'm going to upload it so i'll be using my phone to get all the predictions and then i'll try to relate it to myself to see what sex of a baby i am carried okay i'm really excited about this without so much talking 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 let's get into the video so the first one the first gender prediction here we have the chinese gender prediction chat i'm just going to upload it somewhere either here or here any of them i'm just going to upload it somewhere with this it tells you we have the first chat the first um column you see um the month of conception you see january february march up to december and then now you see the age so if i have to take the month of conception my month of conception is december and if i have to link it with my age it happens to be a boy <laughs> <laughs> it happens to be a boy so one point for boy first of all before i continue recently in fact i don't know in my heart of heart i know i'm having a boy but i'm just fooling myself let me say fooling myself because if i have to go deep down into my heart to know like what i if just predict what you're carrying i know it's a boy but i've just been fooling myself around let me use the word fooling i've been fooling myself around saying it's a girl okay that i'm carrying a girl for some weird reasons for some funny reasons i don't know why that is popping in my mind right now but okay so for the chinese gender prediction chart that's one point for boy if i have to take the month of conception and my age i link it together it happens to be a boy so one point for boys already so now the next one is about feel of your skin here it says carrying a boy is said to give you a drier skin and a little girl brings out the oil in you for my kids first of all before i even conceive like normally i have a dry skin i don't have a i have a dry skin okay and now when i got pregnant like a month before i got pregnant that's november i changed my um, lotion what i use on my body i just started using only glue oil only glue oil on my body and that's what i've been using on my body up till date i've been using like on my face on my body up till date so now on this point i don't know if it is the glue oil that's working or is the baby i'm carrying that's doing the magic okay but my skin my skin is so much right it's not dry so at this point i think one point for girl okay because my skin is not dry i'm having a moisturized skin now so one point for girl okay <laughs> now the next question is about the glow it says everyone complimenting you on your gorgeous pregnancy glow it's a boy no comment it's a girl uh, yes i'm glowing and people are complimenting me about the glow so another point for boy <laughs> so that's two point for boy and 
a one point from girl so now the next one is about acne a girl is said to steal your beauty and the extra oil that may give you glow could be caused by breakout definitely if you can see um no acne nothing 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 so another point for boy <laughs> now the next one we have the linear nigra the linear nigra is um some moms develop a dark line down the center of their belly if the line continues above your belly button you are having a boy if it finishes below your belly button you are having a girl let me show you something have you seen mine <laughs> from here up to i think up to my breast <laughs> okay so the line continues so it shows i'm having a boy at this stage okay another point for boy that's four four points or three points for boy okay another point for boy and now let's go to the next point hair if your hair becomes thick and glossy it's a boy if your hair is so dull and limp that you look like you have been without running water for quite some time it's a girl on a normal day i have thick hair like i have a lot of hair like my hair is really thick and so i don't know if it is pregnant <laughs> like let me see does the pregnancy really add the hair yeah i think so when i got pregnant my hair was like was full compared to before it was a bit full like much 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 more full than before okay so another point for boy <laughs> now let's go to the next point the next point is about body hair like hair on your body it says if your body hair is growing thick and fast you are said to be having a boy if your hair growth has remained normal there might be a girl nursing in your womb body hair on a normal day i don't have even one body hair like <laughs> I don't have even small like the one you can even use for something else I don't have but ever since I got pregnant like I'm having some small hair on my body like I can really feel the hair especially on my on my hands I can really see the hair even though not that much but compared to like before I have body hair now so another point for boy <laughs> god oh my god another point for boy so now the next point it talks about weight gain placement Carrying all your extra weight out front, it's a boy. If those pregnancy pounds are peeling all over you, you might be expecting a daughter. For my case, I'm carrying just in front because if you look at me, like someone who knows me, you will know that I haven't added weight like on the other parts, like my face, my leg, all those parts. I haven't added weight that much, but just on my body. So <laughs> another point for boy, oh my God. What's happening here? <laughs> What's happening here? I've just been fooling myself that I'm having a girl. I'm having a girl, but this thing is just pretty. Uh, anyways, it's just prediction. It might not be right, okay? So now the next one, it talks about feet. If you are suffering from a bad case of cold feet, you might be expecting a boy. If your feet are has, it are has warm as ever, you might be carrying a girl my feet are always warm even before pregnancy and it hasn't changed up to now i have warm feet even my hands always warm so one point for, one another point for girl sorry another point for girl now now the next point food growth you are not crazy if you feel as though your feet are growing a baby boy is said to add a half size and a girl keeps your feet in your current shoe size for my case my shoes i can't put on my shoes it either hurts in front so most of my shoes especially the one that was like exact my size i can't put it on okay now I, the shoes i'm putting on either i just i newly bought it or like they were the ones that were a bit bigger not like just exact my size bigger like above my size okay so in this case one point for boy again <laughs> the next one it talks about cravings salty versus sweet salty food cravings are linked to boys and sweet means girl sweet i'm not friends with sweet at all even before pregnancy 
be and sweet na 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 so one point for boy <laughs> again hey <laughs> oh my god <laughs> now the next one it says carrying high or low baby boy bellies are said to be low while girls are up higher okay so let me show you again my tummy for the third time here is my tummy i think i'm carrying low i'm not carrying high right okay so as you can see you notice i'm carrying low not high okay and yeah low low is for boys and high is for girls so another point for boys now let's go to the next one so now the next position is about daddy's weight gain it says if daddy is getting weight you are having a girl but if he remains the same it's a boy in my case my husband is the same i don't think he has added any weight i haven't checked but when i look at him physically like he's still the same like before okay so another point <laughs> Another point for a boy. Oh my god, what's up for the year? <laughs> okay, now let's go to the next one. It's about sickness. This one can be read in different ways. Some say that any nausea at all means girl, and others say that actual vomiting means girl. Why only nausea means boy? For my case, I didn't have nausea, I didn't have vomiting, I didn't vomit, even during all throughout my first, first trimester, I didn't, even the first month of pregnancy, the second month, I didn't have nausea, I didn't have vomiting, and up to date, I don't have it. So one point for girl. Now, the next one, we have headaches. Extreme headaches while pregnant are said to men you are carrying a boy. No real headache a girl. I don't have headache at all not at all not any i can remember i don't have headache so another point for girl now the next one we have the um breast size if your right breast is larger than your left it's a boy and the other way around it's a girl on a normal day i think i have like without pregnancy i think my one breast is bigger than the other i don't know if i'm only i'm the only one feeling this but on a normal day that's it <laughs> on a normal day i always have this feeling that my one breast is larger than the other and now it's still the same one breast is still larger than the other which is my right breast is larger than my left breast so <laughs> another point for boy okay now the next one is clumsy versus graceful it says if you are clumsy than usual you may be carrying a boy no real changes it's a girl i'm not clumsy at all i'm still the same like before before pregnancy i'm still that same person like the pregnancy hasn't changed me that much that much in terms of my mood swing i don't have mood swings at all so i'm still the same so one point for a girl now let's go to the next one nail growth one minute let me get water so now let's go to the next point is about nail growth it says are your nails growing faster thicker and stronger you may be carrying a boy if they are breaking easier than normal then it's a girl let me show you these are my natural nails no artificial nails these are my natural nails as you can see so they are they are growing faster like it's really fast it works because at least i need to be cutting these nails like after two to three weeks i need to like trim it not like really cut it completely cut it but i need to trim it somehow so that it can be short because i don't want it too much long because i might be hurting myself okay so as you can see it's growing thicker and very very long at a faster rate too not just growing but at a faster rate so it means i'm carrying a boy one point for boy <clears throat> now let's go to the next one moody versus mellow if you are feeling more moody than mellow then you are having a baby girl if you are more chill out you you are having a boy i'm not moody 
like I said, I don't have mood swing at all from the first month up till now. I don't have any mood swing. I haven't experienced any. So this one it means one point for boy. Okay. So now let's go to the last prediction. That is the Mayan system. With the Mayan system, it says um, the sex of the baby can be determined by looking at the mother's age of conception and the year of conception. If both of them are even or odd, then it's a girl. But if one is even and the other one is odd, then it's a boy. And in my own case, my year of conception is 2021 and my age is odd. So both odd. So it means one I'm carrying a girl so one point for girl so guys that is it for this video and as you can see it shows that I'm having a boy so guys this is the end of the video and as you can see it shows I'm carrying a boy based on the prediction based on the old wife's tale prediction about baby's gender it shows I'm carrying a boy okay so let's just keep fingers crossed and wait up till 30 how many weeks or 40 weeks when I'm going to put to bed let's know what i am carrying because as of now i don't even intend to know i don't even want to know that's the issue and more to that in china they don't even tell you the sex of your child so i'm on the safe side okay <laughs> i don't want to know i don't intend to know till after conception after birth that's when i'm going to know so based on this prediction it shows i'm carrying a boy all right so let's keep our fingers crossed to see if actually the predictions were right about me all they were wrong about me this is just a prediction it's not stated anywhere that is sure it's just prediction okay yeah so guys that's it for this video see you guys in my next video bye